Hello everyone, we are back with another tutorial. I already figured, oh, I'll record this once, just audio. Anyway, um, we're back, so I'm going to just do a short tutorial on how to use the FMC in the Zebo 737. So first thing you want to do, power, obviously, and then turn IRS to nav. I showed that in my startup tutorial, which I'll probably redo again. Um, clear, my data is active and up to date. Anyway, so you go there, and then pause initialization, and then we are at Memphis. I literally just ended that uh, Memphis stream. Then reference airport, then copy and paste. You can just click on that route. We'll do Memphis, let's say we're going to Indy, so K-I-N-D. And we are a VLO, so it's VXP369. Um, then for departures, you go here, here, and let's say somewhere, uh, well, let's say SimBrief says Autumn 5 with the Lovick transition uh, via 18 center. So there, you do that. And then route, and you go departures arrivals. Let's say Clang 7 with the uh, Fort Wayne transition for arrivals. That's going to take you very far up north, but this is just an example. Uh, ILS 5 left with Kelly transition again. Um, and you go legs, boom, you click, and then click, and then it should already, yep, and then activate execute do you want to go rte actually sorry you want to go menu fmc index perf uh we currently we're, we'll just say we're using what we currently have so click and we're going to say cruise of flight level 280 why not then reserves i normally try to have 10 of reserves 10,000 pounds of reserve which we currently have 13.7 as it says there. Uh, cost index, let's go 15. Uh, from my knowledge, that just means it determines on how fast your FMC is going to calculate for you to your speed. Uh, and then execute, N1 limit, take off. Uh, let's do flaps 10, and then click, and then Luckily, a Zebo automatically redoes it for you. And done. You go back to index, and it'll be all done. Now, your only waiting thing is for your IRS to align, which I believe, I know for the 757 you can. If you turn it to wind, four minutes left. But don't worry about that. We're not going to worry about your IRS aligning. That's just a quick tutorial. Um, hope it helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will answer them to my best, um, understanding. And I can always redo this for you guys again. So, anyway, that is all. I really love this Avila livery, and X-Plane 12 looks amazing. See you all around, everyone.